What is this? What the hell? This is not cute on the ass, girl. What the hell? Why did you not put in a zip, you stingy bitch? Oh my god, the camel toe is real right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, subscribe while you're at it, girl. Mm -mm, this is where the party's at. So I am filming a haul today. I literally ran into Primark to go grab some pajamas, but your girl ended up spending like 150 pounds in Primark. Okay. And guys, do you know what the joke is? I didn't even pick up any pajamas. <laughs> Typical. So I have two of these Mahusa bags. I feel like it's been ages since I've done a Primark haul, but there were so many cute stuff, like super cute for summer, cute for workwear. So I thought I'd do a little try on haul. This is gonna be my first ever fashion try on haul with this new backdrop. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Hopefully you guys like it, fingers crossed. Otherwise, grab, you're in for a treat, changing this whole room back. <laughs> and if you guys wanna see what I picked up from Primark, please keep watching. <laughs> If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you guys will know that I am an avid fan of Primark. It's where I get all my underwear from, where I get all my pajamas from. They have such cute stuff like socks, staples. I love my cotton pads on there. It's a really, really cute shop if you guys want to get something cheap and affordable and it's still quite good quality as well. So on my little trip to Primark today, I saw this, which is such a cute little jumpsuit. It's a really nice kind of striped jumpsuit. They had this in two other colours, but I kind of like this black and white one. I picked this up in a size 10 bitch this was on a size 8 hanger what the fuck but yeah we're gonna try this on this was 13 pounds okay guys so we're in the back drop i can run i can walk back hey <laughs> okay so this is what the jumpsuit looks like on it's one of those like coolette i have no idea how to say it but basically it's kind of like three quarter lips and it swings guys it swings oh i'm swinging not gonna lie i was a newbie I've done the rookie mistake of not checking the actual tag and I just looked at the hanging, I just grabbed it and put it in the basket. Rule number one, if you're shopping in Primark, never make that mistake. All the time, they always put the wrong item on a different hanger. I don't know what's wrong with Primark. Why do they do that? I don't know. If you work at Primark, let me know because I feel like they do it on purpose and just to get people to refund stuff. But I do have to say, I actually quite like the belt. Normally, I don't really like belts that come with jumpsuits and stuff, but this is actually really cute. It's like a rope design. Yeah, this is what it looks like when you kind of button it all the way up. Actually, I might prefer it like this. Anything with stripes that go upwards, it makes you look taller. If you have stripes going this way, it can make you look a little bit wider. So I always look for vertical stripes. Is it vertical? I always get horizontal and vertical mixed up. <laughs> but overall, I really, really like this. For £13, I ain't mad. Oh my God, what's this bunch? What is this? What the hell? This is not cute on the ass, girl. What the hell? Okay, so the next outfit that I thought I would pick up is these two. So I have recently been loving tops like this, and I found one in Primark that I thought was so pretty. So I got this in a size 10 because the size 8 looks really like a weird shape. Um, I love this. This sleeve right here is kind of like cuffed, and it's really nice and stretchy. And then I thought I'd pair out some denim shorts as well. But I also wanted to show you guys that you can basically wear white tops like this with anything. So I thought I'd pick up these black trousers as well. So, you know, depending on what the occasion is, if you want to go to work and look like a smart bad bitch, then you can pair this together. But if you're going out during the daytime, you still want to look cute and fashionable, this would be a cute summery outfit as well. Okay, so let's try this on. I'm so pissed off right now. I literally spent like 10 minutes trying to fit my ass into these freaking jean shorts. I had to literally go in the other room and tell Gwag to push my ass while I pulled these up at the same time. Can someone tell me why? Why are these fake buttons? They're fake. It's just there for decoration. I don't know why they just decided to just pop a few buttons there but not actually make it open and close. So I've got this in a size 8. I'm actually not going to rip this off because I'm going to return it. Without the belt, this is a size 8 but on the waist, it is way too big for me. So I definitely have to use the little belt that it came with. Ooh. Don't know if you guys can see, I've got nipple covers on. The netting of this isn't that wide so you don't really need anything underneath. But overall, I feel like you could definitely get away with like not wearing a bra underneath this. What do you guys think? The only thing is you do have to button up at the back here. 
I also hate buttons at the back of my neck because literally my hair will get tangled onto that and create like a dreadlock behind there and it ain't cute. It's like super nice and casual. Imagine this for like little white slippers, wearing your hair up in a ponytail as well. Looks super nice and cute and casual. I would probably pair this with like some of these little clear glasses. You can wear these with heels, strappy sandals, trainers. It'll look really, really cute with this outfit. Mm. I do wish that here it had a bit more like frill the frill is a little bit dead like a dead plant you know look the frill needs to be like this it's a bit like victorian times frills you know i don't even know what frills look like victorian times i don't know why i'm making that reference i think these glasses just made me feel smart which think of this outfit would you wear it comment down below let's try it on with the black trousers and feel like a bad bitch oh these trousers are cute it's one of those like stretchy kind of fabrics which is nice also these shorts were £12. These were £13 as well. One extra pound, you get yourself a whole extra two legs. You know what I'm saying, guys? These trousers actually fit quite nicely. I would have liked the leg to be a bit more, like, snatched at the bottom. It will make it look so much more expensive. But, you know, it's only £13. You can't expect too much, you know what I'm saying? The bad bitch is here. The bad bitch is here. The bad bitch is here. Here, 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 here. Okay, I'm going to put on these shoes here. These are from Miss Lola. See, if it's still in stock. I'll leave the link down below. But doesn't this look like YSL? But it's not. It's a dollar sign. <laughs> the only thing about these is that they come up super tight. Or maybe I've just got super narrow feet. Oh, shit. I'm going to snap off a toe just for this one video. This is what the length of the trouser looks like. I'm about five foot three, for everyone wondering. I'm not super sure. If only it was like tight at the bottom it will look so much more snatched don't you guys think the pockets are fake too prime up why are you such a fake bitch the pockets are fake the buttons are fake everything about me is as real as my fucking nose do you know what i mean okay let's see if i look like a smart bitch with these glasses again mm. i probably need to wipe them because there's literally like smears all over my lenses right now okay mm. would you wear this let me know i feel this would be a really good outfit to wear when you got a meeting, when you need to bust out some numbers, when you need to demand for those checks. This top, honestly, can go with all of the trousers that I picked up today. Okay, so I also picked up this little blouse. It's kind of like a loose t-shirt, kind of crop top. This top was £10, which I think is quite expensive for a top like this. And this top should be about £8 maximum, you know what I'm saying? Like, look how little fabric there is. Not gonna lie. I feel like I'm about to burst these buttons here. Like, I should've got this in a size 10, damn it. So annoying, I'm in between like a UK size eight and 10. So I just had to get Gwang to do these little buttons here. I don't know if you guys can see. Your girl is about to pop a button or two. Like this is literally on its last leg. If I push up my belly right now, I swear this will snap. It's literally like holding on for dear life. But we're just gonna get this little flap to cover that, okay? I actually feel like it looks really cute with these trousers. I keep going to put my hand in here, but it's freaking stopping me because it's fake. It's fake. Um, I would probably like make this a bit higher, roll it up twice, just so it's a bit more like casual looking now. Oh, why do I keep doing this? Let me put on the shoe that's gonna break my toe again. I really love the shoulders of this. It's super like lightweight. Also, if you're a bit like cautious of your arms and stuff, you know sometimes as girls we just feel a bit insecure about like our bingo wings and anything like that. This is a perfect way to hide it, but still feel really like light and breezy. It's not one of those tops that literally like make you sweat and like stick onto your every last pore of your skin. If I ever created a clothing line, it will be full of tops like this. Anything with like snatches you in, like I just have a whole idea about this clothing range guys i'm manifesting it tweet lee will have a clothing line in 2020 let's make it happen guys twitter do your thing even though i have no followers on twitter but you know i love the fact that it's kind of like tight here so even if you wore some like shorts or something like that it will still look really cute because this bit is really tight okay so i also picked up these shorts here this says that it's like high waisted shorts and i love the fact that it's super stretchy it literally looks like primark went to go get some joni jeans and they just literally cut off the leg so i love the fact it's super high waisted it doesn't have pockets at the front but it has pockets at the back so maybe with this outfit here it'll look cute these are a size 10 but they feel so small this literally looks like a size 6 so i don't know how my fucking ass is gonna fit into this but you know hopefully the elastic will give away also guys when i went to the till this was actually reduced from 10 pounds to 5 pounds so it's on sale at the moment if you can pick up this top in your local primark definitely pick it up for half the price girl like this is so cute for five pounds five pounds everything five pounds yes there's actually a website guys called everything five pounds should i do a haul on that let me know down below. <laughs> these shorts. Oh my god, what kind of shorts are these? Oh fuck, my belly's too fat. Oh fuck. Oh. 
I definitely can't keep these, so I'm not even gonna bother ripping off the tag. What is this gaping hole? But it's so tight everywhere else. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Look at look at this. Oh my god, the camel toe is real right now. It's the same camel toe as the pig's foot in the What's in My Box challenge. If you guys haven't seen it, click up here to watch it. Mm -hmm. This is horrific. Bunching here, bunching up here, gaping here. Oh. Oh girl, it's a no from me. On to the next outfit. Okay, so this outfit is gonna be like a love it or hate it type of situation. But I did see this pair of jeans on the mannequin and it actually looks really cool on her. It's the paper bag waist jean. I've got this in a size 10. It's one of those like super baggy jeans. It's quite a thick material. It has like this waist snatching belt on it. And I thought I'd pair it with this top here. So it's a very like 90s kind of feel. This is kind of like a sheer mesh. The top is five pounds which I think is actually a really good price for this. And then the jeans were £15. So a really, really good bargain. Look at this. Whole outfit for 20 quid. Okay, so this is what the outfit looks like on. Can someone tell me why there's a big old fucking hole inside of this top? Like, what the hell? So someone didn't do the sewing correctly. But I actually really like the jeans. I'm not sure about the top. I kind of feel like I'm in a bit of Cirque du Soleil, you know? I don't know. I thought it would look a bit more cuter on, but... I don't know, I don't like the colouring, it just looks a bit weird. But the trousers actually fit so nicely. Why is there like sand all inside of these trousers? So gritty in both pockets, oh my god. I definitely feel like you have to roll these up at the bottom so that they look a bit more, I don't know, snatch at the bottom, otherwise it's a little bit flary. I always like my trousers tight here, big here, and then tight at the bottom. I feel like it gives you a really nice like hourglass figure. Even before I had my BBL and stuff like that, I always love like things that snatch you in at the waist. I feel like those type of outfits are really hard to find, but when you do find them, it's like, oh, I need these in every single color. So yeah, guys, we need to start this petition. How am I gonna get a clothing line with Pretty Little Thing? This needs to be a thing. It doesn't do much for the ass. Not gonna lie, but they are more of like a looser type fit, so I'm not mad about that. How do you guys feel about paper bag waist? Do you guys like them? Sometimes I feel like they're nice, but it makes the smallest part of your body, which is normally your waist, look bigger because of the paper bag. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword because it looks baggy here, but then you can really like tighten this bit and make your waist look super snatched here. So yeah, let me know what you think about paper bag waist. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I feel like, is it just too much material here? Would it be nicer if all of this was just snatched like this? But the top is definitely going back, guys, because it's got a gaping huge hole in it. Okay, so the next outfit that I have, I thought was so cute. I think this will go really, really well together. So these are some plaid trousers. I love the fact that the back is elasticated, so it's super stretchy. I got this in a size eight. This was 13 pounds. And then I got this little top, which I thought was so cute. This is in a size extra small, and this was five pounds. I always find that rib details are my favorite. If you're ever shopping online, I always type in ribbed. Not in just condoms, but in clothing, it's great. I find in any material that has this ribbed detail, this will make you look super slim. It's normally the fabric that is super stretchy, but it doesn't cling on to every single roll that you have. Another situation where the pants need to go back. What is wrong with Primark? Why did it not put the zip in anything? This button is fake. This little flap is fake. There is no zip. Therefore, my ass could not fit into these trousers. Even though it has elastic here, it wasn't wide enough that I could fit all of this junk in my trunk up in these trousers. I do like the elasticated waist because you guys can see that it kind of snatches you in right here. I always find either if you have bigger thighs, a bigger bum, big fanny, you know, all of the things that we struggle with. If you have to pull it up, it's gonna be super baggy by the way. So that's why having this little elasticated waistband here, it makes this bit snatch. Once I have it on, it's actually quite nice, but I can't be doing that every single time I want to wear these trousers because honestly, that means that I will never be bothered to wear the trousers, you know? It was honestly like a struggle, like kind of squeeze one in at a hand and the other. This top though, I think is really cute. For five pounds, you can't go wrong. I wouldn't pay more than five pounds for this. I wish it was a bit tighter. This is already a size six to eight and it's a little bit baggy here, so it could be more snatched. But overall, I love the fact that it has this kind of like wavy kind of white detail here on the arms as well and also it would have been cute if they matched it here at the bottom but they didn't 
I feel like if they actually put a real zip and a button in, this would be like a perfect fit. But the fact that I couldn't get in and out of it is definitely a no-go. So yeah, half of this stuff is getting returned, but I'm so sad because it's got pockets, guys. It's got pockets. I like the length of it on me. I like the print of them. I do like it from the back as well. Yeah, I'm just so disappointed. Why? Why did you not put in a zip, you stingy bitch? Okay, and then the last outfit that I have are these tracksuit bottoms here. So I actually saw these tracksuit bottoms first and they were so cute. So I didn't know what size to get. I ended up getting them in a six to eight and this was 10 pounds. I love the fact that it's white. It's got these pockets on the side so it kind of looks a bit more like combat style, you know. And then it also has a matching hoodie to it as well. I do wish that this is a cropped hoodie. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that this will be that flattering on. I think these might even look cute with this top. I don't think I'm gonna try this on, but I'll show you guys it anyways. I think I'm gonna return this one. This was £12 for the hoodie, but I think together it might be a bit much. It might look a little bit like the Backstreet Boys, you know? Okay, so this is what the tracksuit bottoms look like on. I wish I got a size 10 to 12 in this. I wish I would've got a size bigger. I feel like it's a bit too tight for tracksuit bottoms for me personally. It's a bit too like groiny. You know what I mean? Oh, you guys can't really see it because it's white and it's kind of like bouncing off the lights. But I don't know, when I walk, it's kind of like rubbing here a bit. I want it to be more like loosey goose here and then maybe tight at the bottom. But it is really nice and thick. It's kind of like fleecy on the inside. So that's nice. Um, and it does have pockets. Okay, guys, so that's it for this haul. I think I'm going to refund some of the stuff. I'm going to exchange some of the stuff for different sizes. But let's just go sit back down because it's hella hot with all these lights. Okay. <sighs> Okay guys, so that's it for this try and haul. I'm literally so hot right now, but I literally love some of the items from Primark. Some of them was a bit eh, but let me know if you will be picking up anything from Primark down below. Hopefully you guys got inspired by this haul and will be running to your local Primark to pick some stuff up. I don't know if it's just me guys, but I feel like Primark has definitely gone up in price, but I do feel like the quality and the fitment is a lot nicer than before. Before with Primark, I felt like a lot of the t-shirts and everything was just so baggy and had no shape, whereas now I feel like they have a bit more tailoring you know so let me know if you guys will be picking anything up from your local primark let me know what other fashion hauls you guys want me to film because i'm definitely in it for the hauls now guys i love filming hauls i love watching hauls i love browsing online so let me know what other brands you guys want me to try some stuff from and if you guys like this video give me a little thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye enjoy the bloopers Mwah. 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 So welcome back to my you Oh shit, my mic is facing the wrong way. Hello. Grang, I need your help. I always call him. Any time I need anything. Grang, help me. I need you. Grang, you're doing it wrong. Grang, do it again. Grang. Uh, hello, is he ignoring me? Girl, it is hot in here to die. <laughs> I let Grang check out, right? Why the hell did he not leave the hangers there? Like, why are you taking the hangers home, you idiot? This could be fun taking this off. I'm gonna take off over here so you guys can't see anything. You get my reaction only. <laughs> oh fuck, it's not coming off guys. My ass too fat. No, seriously, it's not coming off. Oh my God, I might see scissors, you know. It doesn't help that I'm so sweaty as well. It's off. It's off. Shit, where's the trousers? <laughs> where's the trousers? <laughs> guys, don't put this in. <laughs> my earring. Why is the camera moving like this? Is the camera drunk? Jesus Christ. Oh, hello! Oh, hey! I'm literally filming as we speak! Say hello to my friends, guys! You're gonna be in my Primark haul! You're in the bloopers! Yeah! You hear that, guys? Thumbs up, subscribe!